Hey guys, it's Ben again, and we are playing some more Undertale. Let's go! Anyways, guys, freaking this episode, we just got to Snow to Town, and I'm still streaming this, by the way. I'm streaming this every time I go to record, so if you guys are following me on Twitter or on DeviantArt, you'll be notified when I'm streaming. Or if you're following me on Twitch, which is even better, you'll be notified when I'm recording. Um, anywho, also have Child's Play down below if anyone wants to do that, but eh, whatever. Anywho, guys, freaking this episode, I freaking just got to Snow to Town. And I have no idea what to do. I'm gonna check what's in the box. Um, we gotta put the Snowden ba uh, snowman piece in the box. Um, I don't know what to do with the stick. The stick's kind of just there, but I guess I'll just hold on to it because I ran into another dog. Um, there's an inn. There's a bunny. We gotta check the inn. This is so weird. What's that? Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Welcome to the Snowden. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80G. Okay, I'll try. Oh, I don't even have 80G. Oh, you poor thing. I can only imagine what you've been through. One of the rooms upstairs is empty. You can sleep there for free. Okay? Aww. Aww, she's so nice. Why, Why am I hearing so much snoring? Hiya, you look like you had a great sleep, which is incredible, because you are only up there for about two minutes. Feel free to come back if you get tired. I was only up there for two minutes? Okay, that makes no sense! Why well, was only up there for two minutes? Was it because of the snoring? I think it was because of the snoring. Okay, I'm just gonna save really quickly. So how much health do I have now? 30 out of 20? Okay, that's crazy. Alright, I've been snuggled, apparently. Freaking twitch. Okay, let's see what the sign says. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try wander so under so tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Okay, there's a lot of bunnies here. I like them. Oh my god, it's a hot bunny girl. Okay, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Ow, ow. Okay, let's see what this person says. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. What about this lady disturbs you? Isn't my little cinnamon the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. <laughs> bun buns are so adorable. It's like he's talking about buns. <laughs> okay. <laughs> little bunny people. Okay, bunny people holding on to a leash of a bun tiny little bunny. Okay, I'm ridiculous. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we just start giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. I just undecorated that monster. So, okay, I guess I guess it's happy now. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Aw. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Is that because I'm wearing a striped shirt? Okay, I don't understand that. Okay. Hey, look, it's a bear. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Okay, if it's freaking politics, it's a freaking tell a fish lady. I guess it's, um, I guess that, I guess he's talking about sands? Or Papyrus and Undyne. Maybe that's how it works. Maybe that's what's going on. Um. Anyways, it looks like we just found Grillbees. There's some other guys out here. Where are you? Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis, dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Aww. We all know the underground pro has problems, but we enjoy it anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be more morose about it? 
because there's a lab -bruh. Okay, I'm gonna go to Grillby's. I'm gonna see what Grillby's is about. Um, freaking, oh my goodness. Hey, Grillby's, what's going on? Oh my god, the puppies are here! <laughs> it's adorable. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give lots of love and attention. We are sentries, but we are never we never get any respect. I wish your skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. Uh-huh. No matter where I go, it's the same menu and the same people. Help, I want new drinks and uh, hot guys. Hot guys. So I'm guessing this guy wants the bartender? To freaking love them? I don't know what's going on. Hey look, it's a precious plant. Hmm. Is it human food different from monster food? It's, it does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through the, your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. It's disgusting, but we'd love to try it. Okay. The capital is getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're starting going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some seasickers slip into onto their butts. <laughs> okay, you wanna make fun of the city slickers, I understand. Okay. Hey look at these guys. Those dogs are a part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She is rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when she they grow up. Okay, it's a little weird. I put out a line for some girls today. Somebody told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with the fish. Oh! Oh! That was his fishing line! At the beginning of the game! Oh. That was him! Okay, so, yeah, I can understand why he looked... I can understand why I thought he looked ugly. Okay. Poker, and the lesser dog is playing poker against himself. He appears to be losing. Oh, I want him to win. I want him to win. Oh, okay. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. Oh my god. <laughs> Doggo, no. <laughs> it makes a statement like, "Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please." Okay, that is that's what you say. Okay, I'm gonna talk to this guy. Oh no. He just made that noise? That's all he does? Okay. Hey, look, it's the fire guy. I want to say hi. Gooby said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Aw. Uh -huh. Oh, is it because he's made of fire? That dog. That dog. I want to... Oh, my God. Freaking dog. Okay. Hey, welcome to the stream, Luminescent One. I freaking saw you follow me. Thank you for becoming a Google. Okay. Anywho, I'm gonna play with this thing. I'm gonna see what this is. The jukebox is broken. No, how can it be broken? I wanna fix it now. How does one fix? Okay, so I have to walk over here now. Okay. Let's see what's over here. Let's see what's in the lab bar. Liar over bear. <gasps> oh my god, it's nerdy peoples. Look at him. I love working on the newspaper. We still have a little the report that we just filled with comics and games. Aww. Adorable. Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm number one word search creator in the entire underground. Man, until you get to your overground. With that look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? WHO THE FUCK SAID YOU COULD SAY THAT SHIT ABOUT ME?! YOU butthole. <laughs> yes, it is my first playthrough, uh, Luminous one. It's a school report about the monster funerals. <laughs> I just loved exploring everything. Freaking... They're... Monster funerals are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Um... I'm, am I at page minimum yet? I'm kind of stuck at, sick of writing this. Aww. Well, monsters are mostly made of magic. Human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. 
but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. I'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Aw, that's mean. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. Okay. Because they are made of magic monsters. Uh, because they are made of magic monsters, bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the cr crueler of the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with this desire to kill, um, let's end the chapter here, because that's a bit creepy. That's also the uh, genocide playthrough, isn't it? Okay. Master History, Part 4. Fearing humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved the harsh, cold, damp swampland and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Love, hope, and compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Wow, that is so mean. That is a bit cruel. Also, when it comes to that freaking genocide playthrough, I was talking about this on DeviantArt the other day because I really just came up with the theory based when I was watching a Jacksepticeye video and I was reminded of Flowey and how Flowey was talking to us and Flowey like said something about like, uh, what if you were to run into a relentless killer while doing the pacifist run through? Um, so I was wondering if there was going to be like a fan, uh, a plot twist or, uh, someone's going to write a fanfic later where it's like, um, where you meet yourself. For the genocide you is going to meet your pacifist you if you play as the genocide after the pacifist. And the genocide version of you is talking to you at the end of his run. And they're just like, I remember I was you. I was so naive. And the pacifist is just like, I don't care if you're a killer. You can still be good. And the genocide you is just like, no, it's too late for me. It's too late for me. Everyone has to die. It's kill or be killed. And the freaking... And the freaking, the freaking pacifist you is just going, no, listen to yourself. That's just, that's Flowey speaking. You know Flowey. Flowey's an asshole. <laughs> and, the pa and the genocide you is just like, step. And it's just like, it's me. It's always been me. And freaking, I feel like that would be something that would happen in the genocide playthrough, like at the end of the genocide playthrough or something. And it, that, it might be a little weird to say right now, but I think I feel like that's what would happen. I feel like that's something that would happen during the game. <sighs> Anywho, I, I have a overactive imagination when it comes to this game. This game has a lot of stuff that I really want to I really want to learn about. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna talk to this guy now. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. Uh huh? Okay, so. Looks like that's in the library. What the hell is this? Why is there so much mail? <laughs> this mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside. Yes. It's empty. Oh, Papyrus is empty. Mailbox is overflowing with unread junk mail. I'm guessing that's Sans. Papyrus, what's going on with you? Why is Sans locked? It's locked. Aw, their house is locked. Oh, man. Okay, what's this? It's locked from the inside. Okay. Weird. So I guess I could keep going that way, or I could go upwards and see what's over there. Okay. I'm guessing I'm gonna go upward really quick, because this is like over here. I haven't seen what's over here. It's a. Let's play monsters and humans. What? Okay, that's a little weird. You aren't gonna make me be a human again, are you? Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Oh, the rocks can talk! Oh my god, the rocks actually talk. Hey, look at this guy! What's he doing? Oh my god, he's throwing ice into the water. Oh my god, this guy. Friggin... <laughs> I love this guy. It's kinda cool. Okay, what's in this house? Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, uh, my patience rewards me. Uh, this, this the house likes to be knocked on, doesn't it? 
Okay, I think this house is just gonna be ignoring me for a while. What? Someone called my cell phone? Hello, can I speak to G? Wait a second. Is this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number! The wrong number song! <laughs> what? Okay! We are very sorry that we got it wrong. Oh, it's the wrong number. It's the wrong number song. We are very, very sorry that we got it wrong. Aw. <laughs> oh, come on! I want to hear that again! I can call Toriel? They'll be picked up. Aw. Okay, that was weird. I like that. That was cool. That was awesome. Freaking, I got the wrong number. Uh, okay. Okay, and that, that house is just asking to be knocked down again. Wait. Anything over here? Okay, anything over here? Just wanna check. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna walk down now. This is a freaking beautiful town, and I love it. It's freaking adorable as fuck. <laughs> the wrong number song, wrong number song. Gotta freaking talk about that one no wrong number song. <laughs> adorable. Okay, so I guess I just keep walk. Whoa. Okay, I guess there's something going on over here. Hello? Is there somebody over here? Why is everything going white? Oh, it's Papyrus, isn't it? Heal man! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings... They must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... Friend? No, not friend, I guess. No. No, this is all wrong. I cannot, I can't be your friend. You are a human! I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. What the frick? No, I don't wanna, I don't wanna fight you, Papyrus, come on. Oh, God, okay. Glad I got the extra health in the freaking, in the freaking cinnamon buns. I got cinnamon buns, I got cinnamon buns for days. Screw you, Papyrus, yeah. <laughs> Freaking Papyrus is awesome. I'm gonna keep going. Freaking Papyrus. Freaking okay. Let's keep going. Um, let's flirt. What? F flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings? Yes. Yes. Fucking yes. Fucking goddamn it, Twitch. Okay, there we go. Okay, so streams back up. Okay. Can... So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. What? Well, I am a skeleton with very high standards. I can make some spaghetti. I have zero redeeming qualities. <laughs> um, this sounds like someone, like someone on Tumblr or DeviantArt would say. Um, I can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all of my standards. <laughs> oh god! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date a date later. I have to capture you. <laughs> Oh my god, this is pathetic. Look at those bones, they just stay known. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Um, uh, flirt? Do I flirt? Oh, wait. No, I have to keep flirting. Okay. Oh no! Let's stay later. <laughs> we can capture you. We can Papyrus. Oh, come on. Papyrus is thinking about what to cook for his date. Um, good check. He likes to say, Nyeh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I freaking love Papyrus. It's freaking. God damn it, Papyrus. Papyrus dabs some bone cologne behind his ear. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna flirt with him. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. 
let's stay later after I capture you. <laughs> How old am I? <laughs> Fire stabs marinara sauce behind his ear. Um, what have I spare? So you won't fight? Then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack! Look at this. <laughs> oh my god. What? No! You're blue now! That's my attack! What? <laughs> what? Oh god damn it. I'm blue now. Ah crap. Ah crap. Shit, he knows. He knows how to fuck with me. Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. Okay, I got this. I got this. I got this, bro! I got this! I got this! Papyrus dabs MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. He's gonna be Animu! God damn it! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna spare him. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing! Okay. Come on. Whoa! 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 Papyrus dabs MTT and cute juice behind his ear. Okay. Hold up no hold up longer to jump higher. Jeez. I'm doing push noises. <laughs> freaking Freaking damn him is freaking putting on makeup for me. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, I'm okay. Papyrus dabs MTG brand beauty yogurt behind his ear. Let's try flirting again. Papyrus is too busy to fighting to flirt back. I can almost taste my future popularity! Okay. Okay. Whoa, fucking! God damn it, Papyrus. I realize he doesn't have ears. Why are you realizing you don't have ears? Papyrus, head of the royal guard. What the fuck is this? Papyrus is rattling his bones. Papyrus, I'm parallels for The fuck? Oh, come on. This is not very fair, Papyrus. Oh, come on. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Undyne will be really proud of me. What? Okay. Why am I fucking blue? I'm blue, bobber dee, bobber da, bobber dee, bobber da. Fuck, 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 fuck. Paris is cackling. God damn it, I'm gonna eat a cinnamon bunny. Eat the cinnamon bunny. Your HP is maxed out. Okay. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of a smile. Of my smile. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Okay, Paris, you're narcissistic to the max, bro. Him is rattling his bones. My brother, well, he won't change very much. Whoa. Come on. Virus is cackling. God damn him is cackling. I'll have lots of admirers. Come on, Papyrus. Papyrus! Papyrus is rattling his bones. Oh my god. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? God. I'm sure Undyne will. The, it's, I've seen fanfics about Undyne and Metaton with Papyrus. God damn it. Fucking. He's considering his options. Okay, I'm really low on health. I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna use my cinnamon bun. Or bicycle. You have the bicycle. You recover 10 HP. Someone like you is really rare! Okay. Am I doing alright? Oh fuck! Shit. Smells like bones. I don't understand. And dating might be kind of hard. Oh fuck. Okay. Ferris is considering his options. After you're captured and sent away. The fuck do you want to send me away if I'm dating you? 
Faris is trying to hard to play cool. Oh, fucking goddammit. Urk, who cares? Like, give up! No, I don't want to give up! I don't want to give up! Uh, well, I'll win. Faris is preparing a bonus attack. Do I have a freaking. God damn it. God damn it. This is one of those battles where I have to let him kill me. I'm going to flip the fucking shit. Unicycle. Oh my god. I recovered 10 HP. Give up or face my special attack! Didn't you already use your special attack on me? God damn it, Pyrus. I just wanted to flirt with you. Forget the Pyrus. Let's just be. Let's be lovers. Let's just let me. Let me pet you. Let me freaking put my head on you. Jeez, man. Pyrus is rattling his bones. Yeah, very soon I'll use my special attack. God damn it. Pyrus whispers, yeah. God damn it. I will spare. Not too long, I will use that special attack. God damn it. Pyrus is cackling. This is your last chance before my special attack. not killing me. You're too weak. I was easily able to capture you. I will now send you to the capture zone. Or, as Zans calls it, our garage. You're in the doghouse now. What? The bars are too big again. It's a note for virus. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Definitely yours, Papyrus. He put me in a fucking dog cage. <laughs> Look, there's a dog treat. Squeaky chew. Oh, it's a squeaky chew toy. Okay. He fucking gave me. It's just dry dog. It's dog food. It's like this is a broken house. And this boat, this cage is way too big. Oh my god, freaking. Oh crap, I walked out too soon. Okay, I'm gonna quickly go over to um, save. Is that something I have to do? I'm guessing. This is such a friendly town, fills you with determination. <laughs> Fucking goddammit, Papyrus. I love you, man. Goddamn, man. Okay. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to split the episode here, guys, because it's been going on for a while now. Jesus Christ. Freaking Papyrus, just go on a day with me! Don't freaking put me in a duck cage! <laughs> God damn it! Okay. Anywho, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Keep being awesome, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye! Freaking God damn it, Papyrus, I love you, man. I love you, Papyrus. Can I get through? Yes! <gasps> Extinction is imminent! What? I got that achievement? Okay, that's pretty cool. Anyways. He's like so loud. He's like, <laughs> So anyways, guys. Uh, today I just uploaded... God damn it, Papyrus. I love you, man. I love you, Papyrus. Jesus. Oh my goodness. What do you guys think so far? You guys are saying, he's too nice to kill me. And I'm too weak.